Hi guys, this is Dr. Hood. I wanted to do a short video on uh, exercising while you're away from home. So I'm currently in the area of St. Paul's in the city of Bristol, away from my normal home. Um, St. Paul's is famous for a variety of reasons. Here you can see St. Paul's um, Cathedral, uh, and I'm, sitting, I'm in the park in front of it. And St. Paul's is also famous for being quite um, diverse and culturally um, very rich. Uh, so. Anyway, I'm staying in an Airbnb place and I wanted to do some exercise. Um, I've been away from home for a few days. I don't want to go, go for like a week without doing any exercise. So what did I do? I didn't go for a 10 mile run. I didn't go for a 20 mile cycle. And I didn't find a local gym to do some bench presses or some shoulder presses. Instead, I decided to do a 20 minute high intensity full body weight workout. Now I could have done that in my own room but I decided to do it here in the park. So this high intensity workout involves things such as uh, squats, lunges, press ups, burpees, other variations of these exercises, some involving jumps, some in not involving um, jumps. And what this workout does is to raise your heart rate, get you very sweaty, and is a very effective and time efficient way of burning fat, particularly when you compare it to moderate intensity cardio, such as um, jogging. Um, and in fact, if you compare the two, you need about 40 minutes or 50 minutes of jogging to, to, to burn the same amount of fat uh, as a 15 to 20 minute high intensity workout. In addition, the fat burning effect continues for almost 24 hours after the workout is done because of something called an oxygen debt that, that is created by this high intensity workout. It can be done in your hotel room, in your obviously Airbnb room, it can be out, done outside if the weather is good, very easy. First thing in the morning, shower, post-workout snack, and then you're ready to start the day. So what I'm going to do now is stretch, uh, have myself a, a shower, and then have a post-workout snack. Uh, I brought with me some protein shake, but if I don't have that, then an omelette or something similar. Important thing is I don't ruin the workout by having something very sugary or have a processed uh, food snack, such as a donut or, or, or something. And then obviously I try to work on my nutrition for the rest of the, the day. But obviously I'm, I'm still going to enjoy some treats um, while here, here in Bristol and having a high intensity workout in the morning means I'm less likely to ruin uh, my healthy eating um, today. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video.